Welcome to Sights and Sounds with Amy Jo Bailing. On this trip, we're headed to Naples, Florida, November 9th, 2022. Tropical storm Nicole was arriving and I was in a big hurry to get my car and get out of the airport. I almost didn't even fly out of Chicago, but it looked like it was going to be safe, so I did it. I arrived too early to go to my hotel, so I spent some time in the Coastland Center Mall while it was raining. It really wasn't as bad as it seemed. I mean, it, the name of the store was viewing is socks to be you, but I knew things would get better. I did uh, rush to get emergency supplies from a CVS near my hotel before heading out for fun. Having been an airsoft mom for several years, I had to try all-in-one Target. There were a lot of stores that were really different than I had seen in other malls. I especially liked the Coco Art Gallery, which was run by volunteers who also were local artists, and they took their turns working in the gallery. The coldest store was in the mall, too. I considered getting myself a new pillow, but knew I would have to ship it home. I may as well have, because I ended up using USPS anyway. Your most important work is yet to come. All right. My room was lovely. I had a kitchenette, so I unloaded my groceries, full-size refrigerator, and I had to prepare for the night. The storm was coming very close. I'm the blue dot. He had top winds of 75 miles an hour. I woke up, I set an alarm to wake myself up to check the weather, actually. Nicole was a tropical storm by me, but officially a hurricane later in some areas. This is what the storm looked like at 6.50 a.m. I went out to Walmart to get a battery charger for my phone, just in case it got worse. And um, found myself cleaning up lots of shopping carts thrown all over the parking lot. Wish I had a picture of that. And I took myself to the Waffle House for pecan waffles. I stopped into Cracker Barrel and found the perfect shirt to wear out for the evening and for Thanksgiving later on that month. I was trying to learn all about the area because I have a friend that lives down there I was gonna be visiting and uh, took myself for a massage at Massage Heights. But I did have to make an appointment in one place and drive all the way to the other one to actually go to it. I used all kinds of media to research the area. I was able to find Naples beaches online. So I went to Naples Pier first. That was from NaplesKids.com. The sky was pretty cloudy and wind still blowing. I do have video coming up. There were surfers at the beach, I discovered. And eventually a TV station also showed up. So I have a combination of my favorite photography and videos in this series. My hotel actually had a black and white picture of Naples Pier as you came off the elevator, but the pier was not looking the same after the last hurricane.
hurricane Ian damaged it quite a bit. That second week in November, there were still piles in the front of some of the yards along the ocean. Those south beaches were open, but there were algae warnings to the north, red algae. the TV station well I actually message them and sent them these pictures because I figured the only way the surfers would get a copy of them would be through the TV station so I hope they did get them eventually it was pretty extraordinary to have surfers on the beach so the TV station showed up and I gave them a copy of that picture Glad this palm tree made it through the hurricane and the tropical storm. I passed this van. I never did rent a bicycle. I loved to bicycle most of my life, but was enjoying music more. I was looking for music, so I um, did a little more research and I found out that the Bella Sera Hotel hosted the London Club and there would be a piano player there. So that's where I went next. Read the menu and I'll show you what I ordered. I had curry dusted cauliflower for $16 and tuna poke for $22. It was delicious. I've got no defense for it. That heat is too intense for it. What good would common sense for it do? Wicked witch hunt And all alone I know It's strictly time I've been recording bands for about 10 years So I was brave and asked Danny if I could do some video I hope you enjoy it Some of you Come back Sweet and clean Reach out to me, other eyes smile tenderly, still in peaceful dreams I see that home leads back to me. Georgia. Just an old sweet song. Keep Georgia on my mind.
This is the lovely lobby of the Bellisera as I was leaving. I met some people in the London Club who told me they were going to Whiskey Park for karaoke afterward. So I went in my own vehicle, but joined them. Sorry, no video of me singing Magic by Olivia Newton-John. Maybe in a future video. <laughs> Wood Spring Suites was great. I just wanted to take a picture of the pretty flowers outside the building. My next destination was Ave Maria up to the northeast. I went to the church at noon and then walked across the lawn and went over to the Mother Teresa Museum. Ave Maria is a Catholic university and uh, the lawyer for Mother Teresa actually started this museum for her in memory of her actions. She actually created over 600 different institutions around the world. I didn't know that before I went. And I do have just a picture inside the church. I learned a little bit about the development of housing at Ave Maria. And then I drove myself to the casino to take just a few pictures for you. I wasn't able to stay for the entertainment, but maybe next time. Seminole Casino is in Immokalee, Florida, right next to Ave Maria. Well, I made it back to Naples Pier for the sunset. Every evening, people gather, and when the sun goes down, they clap. After sunset, I headed over to 3rd Street South to Tommy Bahamas, and I found some music, of course. <laughs> Tommy Bahamas is famous for their shirts, and all, they have women's and men's clothes, shoes, sandals, and unique gifts. Coming from Wisconsin, the cheese and wine puzzle was attractive to me. I wish I would have bought it. I actually regret not buying it. Well, now I suppose you'll send me this puzzle, or you can just pay me through Venmo or whatever I put up. Don't send me a thousand puzzles. Some of my favorite sites, upside down plants and beautiful buildings. I found a pay what you can afford or what you want taxi service too. Italian shoes, had to take a picture of that. I have a family member who spent a whole summer in Italy, so 
I know she'd appreciate it. Badass Coffee Shop was a good place for you to stop and just get a snack. On the way back to my car, I went down a sidewalk taking a shortcut and I found Old Naples Pub's back courtyard area and beautiful gazebo. Before the night was over, I wanted to see Tin City, so I drove that way and had blue crab legs at Pinchers. They were excellent. The lady sitting to my right told me if I wanted to go dancing to go to Virginas. So I found that with my GPS. Found a place to park, Cambier Park. At the far back end of the restaurant, I found dancing. And the singer was just using her tracks, which I love because I don't always have a band. I wanted to see the whole street. I walked all the way down to the end and found sales and I found another musician. restaurant. I had stopped earlier but there was no music playing so I came back to uh, hear them. My last stop of the night was Bamboosa Bar and Grill. Sometimes they do have karaoke, but it was a special show this night. The next morning I went to the Botanical Center. It was my birthday and later on I was going to go meet my friend and Marco Island for dinner. I was lucky to have someone offer to take a picture of me. What a pretty spot. Well, they have a good schedule going in the garden. They rotate works of art and have music come in at different times. I love photographing water lilies. This is actually the first in a series of two videos and I took additional pictures when I went down in January. So I hope you come back and watch my second video and see more of these gorgeous water lilies. The cannonball tree was blooming when I was there in November, but it was not blooming in January, so. It's definitely a place to visit often, and hopefully other people will put up videos so we can see the beauty of it at any time. Walking along the path up the hill, there were more water lily ponds above the waterfall. And to my right, another pond, so these are from that.
I don't know the names of all the flowers that you'll see in the garden. This next artwork is called Seed Change by Patrick Doherty, made from Pussy Willows. The Botanical Center is building a new horticulture campus. It says with nursery space, greenhouse, recycling center offices, and more. White ginger flower coming up. Bird of paradise, very famous flower. I've taken many flower photos over the years, mostly in woodlands in Wisconsin and Illinois, but if uh, someone is interested, you can comment and I may put up a website to sell some of the photos. Perhaps uh, bathrooms would be a great place for water lily photos. Ah, the path to the restaurant. That's always very important. Showing you the menu is actually amazing for a garden. I ordered the watermelon feta salad. sculpture was so cute. I, I've taught little kids and I just know they would love it. Garden staff have projects for children including little seed balls made with paper mache. I asked if she could crack a coconut for me but no. She said they, they don't do that for patrons. The orchid garden is a great place to take photos. I wanted so badly to take a portrait of two girls wearing purple right next to this orchid. In the gift shop on the way out, I had to take a picture of this orchid jewelry. It was in my mind all the way through the garden, actually. I just adored it, and I hope you enjoy it, too. While I was in the Marco Island Historical Museum, I took a picture of these pens in the gift shop with the key Marco cat depicted in the third one from the right. The key Marco cat is an exhibit there and it's on loan from the Smithsonian Museum. On Marco Island, I went to the museum just before it closed and they told me actually that there was a chili supper going on on the Esplanade. So I headed over there just at the, caught the end of it, I guess, and enjoyed a little bit of music and food. The Esplanade has shops and restaurants along the harbor, and five years ago, I actually videotaped some line dancing there, outdoors. I met my girlfriend and her family for dinner at Mango's, I looked at my Marco review app for a guide to music for the evening. I also looked at the Spotlight on Marco Facebook page for ideas, but I decided just to head home. And then the next day I have um, photography of going to church. 
I have sung in a few different types of churches, so I was eager to hear what the music director would play. Next, I went to the zoo. On the way in, I saw this poster about bird-friendly coffee. First, I came across the tortoises at the zoo. This one doesn't appear to be red-footed. He's eating plants and not meat. On the boat ride to Monkey Island, I also saw a huge bird of paradise. This Asian flowering tree was right by the dock. And on my second trip, I made sure to wear a pink dress just to take a picture next to it. Don't laugh, but I telepathically asked this hyena if he knew God, and he looked right at me for the picture. I had to look up the word Caribbean just to tell you this, that Naples Zoo used to be the Caribbean Gardens, or is it Caribbean? But supposedly the locals used Caribbean. This laurel fig tree came from that era. I don't know that everyone saw this banana flower hidden away. What would make you spend $10 on a can of beer? I felt good that I was saving the lemurs. My next stop was back on Marco Island at Rose Marina to ride the Dolphin Adventure Cruise. If you want to see some pelicans with personality, watch my second video in this series. It only cost $69 and it was well worth it. They provided us with these books to help us see which dolphins would be en route. As we go under the bridge, all the little birds you see sitting on the wood structure here on your left, uh, they are turned, T-E-R-N, and most of them are sandwich turned. They got black meat, just a little bit of money. Let's see that coming in front of us.
we're here and they know it's a dolphin explorer. We've done uh, close to 400 excursions this year. They know the size of our boat, the uh, shape of our boat. They know the sound of our motor from other, do uh, uh, other uh, boats out here. So they know us quite well. They actually know my voice from your voice. Oh, right here. Oh, cute. Now he's going under. Yeah, well. I didn't see the baby. Yeah, that was the baby. All right, so we do have a mom and a calf here. And uh, the mom's name is Dolly. D-O-L-L-Y. And the little one next to her is three years old named Kalani. Uh, Kalani is a Hawaiian word that means the royal one. And this is Dolly's third known calf to us. She has two other ones running around out here that we see on a regular basis. They actually left her side when they turned three years old because they're about every three years, four years or so, Dolly's giving birth to a new one. So she's got a youngster named Llama running around out here. So when they were side by side, we had Dolly and Llama. Oh, there they are. got another one out here named Martin. So when they were side by side, you got it. We had Dolly and Martin.
right there. Right there. Coming by close to the boat. This is a scene from the island where we stopped the boat and we were allowed to go pick up shells. I did have to buy some bleach and wash my shells in the bathtub and then let them dry and ship them home via UPS. Is that bread you say? Yes, it's bread. I was hungry and I found this at a gas station. Brazilian cheese puffs. I ate at Deep Lagoon back at the Esplanade on Marco Island with my friend and her family. And then we saw the sunset. Found a driver with a sense of humor on my way to the nightlife at Jack's Pub in North Naples. I sang karaoke there. I sang Blue by You, and the audience was great. The shrimp was wonderful, too. I definitely recommend going to Jack's. The next day, I took myself to the village shops at Venetian Bay. This is a view from Bayside, inside the restaurant, and then above up on the deck. I have a habit of looking at belts wherever I find them because I get so frustrated with poor quality belts. So enjoy these preppy and stylish belts. Miramar restaurant had corkage fee rules posted, which I found interesting because I have been selling Scout and Cellar wine and I might bring my own sometime. I can never really watch all the music I would like to, but I made a mental note that Fish had musicians too. Having landscaped four homes, I of course had to go up to a nursery and see more flowers. And here's another source of info, the best of the Gulf Shore list. So the large bogan via on the side of my hotel started out this small. I wanted to bring this bag of shells home and it wasn't worth shipping it, but I did see those in gardens. The beach was open to kayakers, but not swimmers.
this is a clue. I did find a sign that said trash line orb weaver. I'm not sure if that's what he was. For those of you looking for homes in Florida, this was the lowest priced one that I came across. I was looking for chocolate and found it at C's at the waterside shops. Just a few more photos for you of this lovely mall. I hope you get a chance to visit. There is one more video because I stayed until evening. Ran across this sign, constantly taking an info. Wish I could stay to the 18th and the 19th to watch these two at Bamboo Tropical on 5th. The next morning, I went back down to Marco Island to eat at Red Rooster with my friend. We had a really nice breakfast and did order cinnamon rolls at the end. I found a private paid parking lot and used their porta to change my clothes and then made my way to the sidewalk to head to the beach. I passed this guide to the shells and also the warnings about what not to collect. I didn't have a lot of time, so my goal was just to spend an hour walking down the beach, get something to drink, and then head back to my car. I learned that these Sailboats were available if you took them yourselves, but the guides were only for the people at the condo. You could pay a fee to sail. The condo members actually didn't have to pay. I made my way to Sunset Grill and chatted with someone there from Indiana, and then headed back out onto the street. I came across this lovely bicycle, Margaritaville, and the owner who was so proud to show it to me. She said she got it at a local Walmart, actually, and she was happy to receive the picture I sent her. I wanted to see Tiger Tail Beach, too, but I knew I needed to get to the post office and mail my shells, so I went out and started walking, but when I realized how far it was going to be to the water, I just took some video and came back out. As I was leaving the parking lot, the thought did cross my mind, how are people in wheelchairs getting out there? And then I ran across the path. So this one takes a person to a different area. It led to a little bay protected by a peninsula, but it's still pretty. Having a grandfather who was a cheesemaker and coming from Monroe, Wisconsin, Green County, I had to find the cheese store. 
Sunset at Naples Pier reminded me of a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte from Georges Seurat. A painting in the park. One last video coming up. Just to remember the peaceful beauty of the ocean. I was curious about what was south of Tin City, and I found my way to the boathouse. I just got myself some gumbo and met a few people that were chatting at the bar, a doctor and his wife. It was pretty neat that my last meal was at the best restaurant in the area. Here are some of the resources that I use to find things to do and I would use again. I had plane tickets to come back in January, so I was looking at the schedule here. I was not predicting dense fog. I'm glad I got up early. I was afraid my drive would be extra slow because of it. My breakfast was pea protein and free coffee from the hotel. My drive was really fine. The fog wasn't too bad by the time I got out there. I returned my car to Fox Rental and shuttled to the airport. Waiting at the airport, I was looking at all the souvenirs, including the candy made from Anastasia made right there in Florida. I did find some later at Christmas back home. Now that I was brand aware, I found some peppermint coconut patties. Those were good. Almost flight time, wearing my new bracelet to save the turtles that I bought at the Naples Zoo. I guess I'm the volunteer spokesperson for Philip's apnea machine. It sure left me with plenty of energy to enjoy my trip. Loved my London fog luggage too with the four spinny wheels. I was looking forward to flying again in January from having two more free plane tickets. I had used the Spirit Air credit card and that's what got me into Florida in November. There will be one more video coming for my January trip. Thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe.